When we don't know anything and we don't know what kind of impacts COVID-19 has had through data, it becomes difficult to know if we are doing the right things to really try to fight um, homelessness and addiction and poverty. For the second straight year, the city of Vancouver is not doing the homeless count in the city, and it's disappointing for some groups that rely on that data to provide services for homeless people. Without this really important count, we're kind of left guessing and using our own anecdotal evidence. Nicole Mucci with Union Gospel Mission says she's disappointed and thinks the city is missing a big opportunity to see how the homeless population has been affected by the pandemic. Okay, anecdotally, we know at UGM that our shelter, despite having increased the number of beds we're, we're using every single night, are seeing more turnaways and we have more people trying to come access the shelter than we did before. but. We aren't able to say with certainty if homelessness has increased and if it's increased as a direct result of COVID-19 or as a direct result of the many different factors or barriers that people often experience. And so that's really difficult. The homeless count in Vancouver has been conducted by hundreds of volunteers since 2002 and 2022 is the second year it's been cancelled. The city says it decided not to do the count in 2021 because of the need to minimize the transmission of COVID-19. In lieu of a count, the city used other data sources like checking shelter occupancy, no fixed address data from the Vancouver police, and income assistance data. The city says these alternative indicators, along with the trend from previous homeless counts, suggest the level of homelessness is approximately the same and there does not appear to be a reduction in the need for services. But in a statement, they acknowledge the alternative data sources unfortunately do not provide a reliable proxy. The homeless counts have sometimes been criticized because they're not always accurate. They're known to be a bit of an undercount. But the reality is, is that an undercount is still at least letting us know what the absolute baseline of people experiencing homelessness is. And if we know this is the minimum, and it's likely many more, we can start from there. The next count will be in March of 2023. In Vancouver, Kirjunos, City News.